In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is saying, I gave my life so you would not have to come here. I knew these horrors were real, but my father's mercy is just as real. If you will let him, he will forgive you. Call to him in my name today. Brothers and sisters, let us continue calling to our father for his mercy. He will forgive our sins and he will make us newborn. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of this book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. May God bless you. Amo Marie Louise, Amo Maralongo. The heart of hell. At night I went with Jesus into hell. During the day, hell was ever before my eyes. I tried to tell others about what I, I was seeing, but they would not believe me. I felt so very alone, and only by the grace of God could I go on. All glory belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. The next night, Jesus and I went to went back to hell. We walked along the edge of the belly of hell. I recognized part of it from being there before. The same rooting fresh the same odor of evil, the same stare, hot air was everywhere. I was already very tired. Jesus knew my thoughts and said, I will never leave, leave or forsake you. I know you are weary, but I will strengthen you. Jesus, Jesus' touch did strengthen me, and we walked on. I heard I saw a large black object, almost as big as a baseball field, with, which seemed to be moving up and down. I remembered that I had been told this was the heart of hell. Coming out from this black head, heart, where that, where, where 
what looked like large arm or her horns. They were coming out of it and going up and out of here into the earth and over the earth. I wondered if these horns were the ones the Bible spoke about. All around the heart, the earth was dry and brown. For about 30 feet in uh, all directions, the earth and her, the heart, the earth had been burned and had dried to a rusty brown color. The heart was the blackest of blacks, but another color like the scales of a snake's skin was inter intermixed with the, 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 the black. And now a full order arose from the heart each time it beats. It beats, yeah. It moves, it moved as a real heart and beat up and down. An evil force field surrounded it. In amazement, I looked at the evil heart and wondered what was it, what was its purpose. Jesus said, "There's branches which look like uh, arteries of a heart, are paper, paper lines that go up through the earth to spill out to spill out evil up upon it. These are the horns that Daniel saw, and they represent evil kingdoms on the earth." Some have already been, some shall be, and some are now. Evil kingdoms will arise, will arise and the Antichrist will rule over many people, places, and things. If possible, the very, the very elect will be deceived by him. Many will turn away and worship the beast, the beat and his image. Out of these main branches or horns, smaller branches will grow. Out of, out of the smaller branches will come dem, demons, evil spirit, demons, evil spirits and mana, all mana of evil forces. They will be released upon the earth and instructed by Satan to do many evil works. There's the kingdoms and the evil forces will obey the beast and many will follow him to destruction. It is here in the heart of hell that these things begin. This will these are the words that Jesus spoke to me. He instructed me to write them and put them into a book and to tell them to the world. These words are true. These revelations were given to me by the Lord Jesus Christ so that all may know and understand the the workings of Satan and the evil schemes he's planning for the future. Jesus said, "Follow me." We walked up a flight of st stairs into the heart, where a doorway a doorway was opened before us. In the heart was a total darkness. I heard the sounds of a crying, and there was another so powerful I could barely breathe. All I could see in the darkness was Jesus. I walked very close to him, and then all of a sudden, Jesus was gone. 
the unthinkable had happened had happened i was alone in the heart of the hell hara took hold of me fear gripped my soul and death took hold of me i cried out to jesus where are you where are you jesus oh please come back lord i called and call and i called but no one answered oh my god i worried i must i must get out of here i began to run in the darkness as i touched the walls they seemed to be breath 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 moving again against my hands and then i was no longer alone i heard the sound of rautha as the two demons surrounded by a dim yellow light grabbed both my hands they quickly put chains upon my arms and began to drag me down deeper into the heart i screamed for jesus but there was no answer i cried and forth with all my strength but they dragged me they dragged me on as as if i offered no resistance at all as we went deeper into the heart i felt a horrible pain as some force ripped my body it seems it seemed as as i thought my very flesh was being ripped of me i screamed out in terror my captors dragged me dragged me to a cell and threw me inside as they looked to the door i cried even louder they laughed they laughed sarcastically and said it will do you it will do you not go to cry not good to cry when your time has come you will be taken before our master he will torment you for his pressure the dreadful order of the heart has uh, saturated my body why am i here what uh, what is wrong am i crazy let me out let me out i cried to no ever after a while i be- i began to feel the side of the cell i i was in it was long round and soft like something alive it was alive and it began to move oh lord i screamed what is happening jesus away jesus uh, sorry oh lord uh, what is happening jesus where are you but only the echo of my own voice came back in reply fear the most awesome fear gripped my soul for the first time since jesus has left me i began to realize that to realize that i was lost without any hope at all i sobbed and called called out to jesus over and over again then i heard a voice in the darkness saying it will do you no it will do you no good no good to call for jesus he is not here a dim light began to fill the place for the first time i could see other cells cells like mine embedded in the wall on the heart a web of some kind was in front of us and inside each cell a kind of moody 
gear subsistence was flowing through the cells. A woman's voice from the next cell said to me, You are lost in this place of torment. There is no way out of here. I could barely see her, see her in the dim, dims of the light. She was awake as I was, but the occupants of all, all the other cells seemed to be asleep or in an entrance. No hope, she cried, no hope. A feeling of intense, intense loneliness and utter despair fell upon me. The woman's word did not, did not help. She said, this is the heart of hell. Here we are torment. Here we are tormented, but our torments are not as bad as those in the part of the hell. I found later she had lied about the not being as much torment here as there was also where in hell. Sometimes she continued, we are brought before Satan and he tortures us for his pleasure. Satan feeds on our pain and grows strong on our cries of despair and sorrow. Our sins are always before us. We know we are ungodly. We know also that we once knew the Lord Jesus, but refused him and turned away from God. We did as we praised. Before I came here, I was a prostitute. I took men and women for their money and called what we did, uh, we did love. I destroyed many homes, many lesbians, homosexuals, and adulterers are in these cells. I cried out into the darkness. I do, I do not belong here. I'm saved. I belong to God. Why am I here? But there was no answer. Then the demons came back and opened my cell door. One pulled while the other pushed me along a rather pathway. The touch of the demons was like a burning frame against my flesh. They were hurting me. Oh Jesus, where are you? Please help me, Jesus, I cried. A roaring fire sprang, sprang up in front of me, but stopped before it touched me. Now it seemed as thought my flesh was being ra raped of my body. The most uh, excruciating pain I could imagine swept over me. I was hurting beyond belief. Something unseen was tearing at my body while an evil spirit in the forms of, a, of bats were beating me all over. Dear Lord Jesus, I cried, where are you? Oh, please let me out. I was pushed and pulled uh, until I came to a wide open place in the heart of Baal. Then I was thrown before a dirty type of altar. Upon the altar was a large open book. I had evil laughter and recognized 
I was lying in the laying in the dirt before Satan. Satan said, At last I have you. I recalled in horror, but soon realized he was no, not looking at me, but someone in front of me. Satan said, ha ha ha, at last I'm able to destroy you from the earth. Let me see what your punishment will be. He opened the book and ran his finger down the pages. The name of the soul was called and the punishment was meted out. Dear Lord, I cried, can, can, can all this be real? Brothers and sisters, we stop by here, but we see that hell is real. May God bless you, my dear friends. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.